Hey folks, Bill Mann with Mammoth Overland here. I'm standing in front of Ellie, which I'm really excited to, to walk around and show you guys the systems, the enhancements that we've done to Ellie. Um, but what we started out with is actually our Mammoth HV uh, trailer. It's, it's the basis for Ellie. Um, it's a really rugged, capable, off-road, uh, waterproof trailer. The Mammoth HV starts with a really rugged frame that we designed in-house, uh, mates up with the Timberin 3500HD suspension, independent axle lift, so you've got plenty of ground clearance there. Um, and we've put this trailer through the paces uh, off-road. We've done some incredible rock terrain with it, handles all the elements really well. Ellie has had some enhancements that we're really proud of. Um, we boosted the, uh, the power package on it. We've actually taken the batteries, lifted them off of the floor of the, the front box and mounted them on top. We've got four lithium iron phosphate Renogy batteries up here, which is really awesome. We've, we've also got uh, our enhanced uh, solar power package, uh, premium solar with Bluetooth module on there, 2000 watt inverter, and you've got uh, short power, so you can charge. If, if you're off grid, we're, we've actually got a portable generator here to, to be able to charge. You could go weeks uh, off the grid with this, this power package. Okay, Ellie has a bunch of different things that uh, uh, our normal Mammoth does not have. Uh, we'll start uh, at the front here and work our way back. Uh, the first thing that's really noticeable is this armor plate right here. So these armor plates, you're out tearing it up, these are totally disposable. You can tear them up, get them scratched, take them off and put new ones on. Um, they're made out of steel. They'll hold up to just about anything. Next thing you'll see here is a step. So as you're getting on and off the trailer, you go right up onto the trailer, onto the roof. We have those here, we have those here. You'll notice there's a different door here. This is a submarine door. This whole cab is uh, designed to be uh, pressure positive. It will actually hold a quarter PSI. Um, that's uh, positive pressure so that nothing can get in. We pump purified air into it um, so that in, in a smoke environment, in a chemical environment, um, in a germ environment, there's no way anything gets into this cab at all. Right back here, you'll notice uh, we have some different wheels on here. Uh, these are V-Rock aluminum wheels. You notice this mole rack here. The mole racks um, you can add uh, to any trailer um, and you can just add equipment. You'll notice the big, we have big spotlights on this as well. This is so you can flood your whole camp besides the rock lights that come standard on the normal HV. You'll notice an observation deck up here. So as I showed you the steps, this trailer is designed to spend a lot of time up on top of the trailer. So this observation deck is all mole on top. Plus it's got attachments. You see we've attached a high lift jack here, uh, plus a shovel. You can add anything you want there. Um, you'll also see an antenna sticking out here. This actually has a ham radio in it. Um, uh, it's a dual band uh, ICOM radio. Uh, you can talk to anybody on any of those bands. Um, so far we've been able to hit 88 miles away, um, which is pretty cool. You also notice that we got dual spare tires on this. When you're out, it's the end of the world. You want to make sure you got spare tires for your trailer. So that comes standard. Come around the side here, you'll notice a couple of things. You notice this mole rack that we have a roto pack attached to. You got traction boards up there. You can kind of see peeking through the observation. We actually, this has real air conditioning on it. So, real air conditioning. Um, we have enough power. Bill had already talked about our power setup. That's so that we can. Uh, run a real air conditioner in any environment. This is where the purified air starts. So it, it sucks air from in, in here. It filters it before it pumps it into the cabin. The other obvious thing that you see, all these windows uh, look pretty cool. So these are one inch bulletproof windows and uh, they also have a coating on them for uh, UV and radiation protection. We've got a drone box. So you, from the, the top hatch or actually inside the cabin, you can launch a drone and get some surveillance going. We've also got mounted in the back on this boom, a camera. The camera we can see from 
mounted inside via a laptop and we've got controls to actually elevate the camera on the boom itself, which is really cool. All housed inside so you don't have to get out of the trailer to, to access it or deploy the camera. So the spares, we have two uh, spare 33 inch mud train tires, um, the Nitto Ridge Grapplers back here. And then let's get into the rear hatch, show you some of the enhancements we have going on in here. So we started again with, with our standard swing out design, but we've got enhancements like, you know, winer uh, bottle uh, storage on the backside of it. Uh, swing out deploys, just like our standard one. Extra netting in the back. You can see this gray module, we've got a water purification system on there, so you can unstrap it, grab whatever water you have. It's got a charcoal filter, it's got UV sanitation in there. Um, so really any water can go through there and, and you've got uh, filtered water. Behind me, behind this box I should say, is the air purification system. So we actually intake from the side here runs through the air purification and goes into the main cabin. It's EL Faust medical grade air purification system. Now one of the enhancements that we did do on our uh, water tank for this, for Ellie, is we actually put uh, heated wa water blankets around the tank. So if you're in sub-zero temperatures, no problems, you're gonna have um, uh, water that will not freeze on you. Just like all of our standard Mammoths, uh, Ellie's gonna come with the electric cooler, sink, two burner stove. On the back side of the swing out, we have our instant on-demand hot water heater. Uh, it's fueled by propane. Uh, we've got our, our shower hookup on the, on the back side of the swing out. Um, we've got power, both USB and uh, 110 if you're running the inverter back here. On the GFCI circuit, um, because you're back here with the water, you're protected, it's great. Um, one of the new features that trailers are having now is this onboard water level sen sensor. Um, so you, you know where you're at with consumption and water stores. So we've got uh, cabinet storage up in the top. Ellie does not have the pass-through storage because the main cabin is fully sealed on the inside. Um, so you don't have the, the traditional access on both sides of the, the cabinet that you would have on, a, on an HV. Um, but there's still plenty of room uh, back here. Bulkhead storage in the, in the main com compartment. Inside the Rome case is our Starlink, our RV edition Starlink. So, Mounted up high so that you can easily access the mounting point on the roof rack so you've got a clear unobstructed view for the Starlink antenna itself. And that way you've got wireless Wi-Fi internet out there uh, wherever you are with the trailer. One of the cool things unique to Ellie are these these doors, uh, which we're really proud of. They're, they're something that you'd see in a naval ship or something like that. They actually uh, are suction doors, so they've got four pins that draw the door really tight in. Um, it's, it's a thick door. Also, we've got the same one inch thick bulletproof glass on the inside. It's locking on the exterior and the interior. Um, and it's a really robust, strong door. It seals tightly so that we can have that pressure positive cabin on the inside as well. Ellie has our two inch lift uh, option. Timberin 3500 HD suspension. Um, so you can get this, this lift on our standard HVs, which really increases the capability of the trailer for off-road. Um, you've got now more ground clearance, uh, a more robust tire uh, that comes with that kit. Also included is electric brake standard on, well, all of our trailers, including Ellie here. Um, helps increase the versatility of the trailer off-road allows the trailer to do its load of, of uh, braking on trail and, and on road too, which is really useful. We've done rock terrain, uh, crawls, uh, water crossings, we've done long gravel roads, we've done, we've had customers do 160 miles of the Mojave Trail, um, actually a few customers now, um, washboard roads. Uh, this trailer actually is, is very stable on the off-road environment. 
Uh, it's phenomenal on-road when you're towing. Um, smooth, smooth suspension. We really like it. Hi, I'm Ryan Salgado. I'm one of the engineers here at Mammoth. I worked a lot on Ellie as well as the HV platform. So inside the cabin of the Ellie is kind of the mobile command center. Um, we have uh, the Starlink uh, router that's up here. We have the TV. Uh, there's a laptop hookup for your camera so you can see from the gimbal camera your surrounding. There's also this Geiger counter. It's a true extinction level event. You got your radiation measure device. There's DC power, there's 110 outlets up here as well. And you control the gimbal camera boom going up and down from here. So everything you need to be able to control is happening in here. There's the ICOM dual band radio. There's also this weather station here for temperature, humidity, all that stuff. Uh, a digital Geiger counter as well. Just like in the HV platform, one of the options is this Newport propane heater. A uh, very good option for the winter especially. Uh, also standard is the hard case boxes. There's a gun rack up here. Our switch panel is another row added for... Um, there's that water heater we talked about in the back. There's floodlights that we talked about up top. Air filter filtration system rock lights both left and right and then the cabin lights which are on right now. The hatch that is not standard in the HV, this is LE only. There's two levers you can pop it open, very similar to a marine hatch you'd see on, on a boat. You can climb right through, get to the top, stand on the platform, and you have complete visibility up there. Both on the left and right sides of the exterior front are two bear spray canisters. They are actuated by this rocker switch up here. Flip up, it's a momentary switch so when you're off of it it'll stop spraying. So in the cabinetry, there's some secret compartments I'll show you. Take the cargo ninny off in the bottom if you need some uh, privacy, you don't want people to see. Underneath the lining, there's a little cubby hole. You can stuff anything you want in there. That's on both the left and right side. Moving to the center, um, in the center compartment, there's actually a hinge door you can use as a laptop space like we have here. This right now is set up with a gimbal camera. Um, so you have your security footage right now. Um, you can zoom and pan all from this command center. But one of the things we really tried to do with Ellie is make all the options retrofitable as much as we could. That goes with the cabinets, the steps outside, uh, the molly brackets that are up top and on the sides. So the cabinets can be shipped out to an existing customer and bolted in. That is a great use of space for mobile working or any off-grid utilization. So if you have a laptop, you have your Starlink, you can um, get your work done via inside this uh, command center. It's also a lot of storage space for any camping that you can't put up top or elsewhere, anything you want to keep out of the weather. Um, and good for eating. This is a nice little TV dinner right here.